Hey guys, this video is for the Logic Pro 10 users. Um, I know there was an update somewhere there, um, or it was actually with Logic Pro 10, where there were some things that I thought was taken out. Um, I was frustrated at one point, and when I googled it and YouTubed it, I just could not find anybody on there who was giving me the answer I was looking for. So this video is for people who want to learn to uh, either cut your vocals, sorry, either cut your breaths out of your songs or lower the breath in your song. So if you're like a rapper or a singer, this is really for you guys, for independent artists that use Logic Pro. Um, so I want to show you guys how to do it. So on Logic Pro 10, once you have it opened and your song opened, um, I really just got to tell you from just producing music for such a long time, when you cut the breasts out, it really gives the song a, you know, like a bad sound with, especially when you listen to it with headphones. I, I feel like every little minor issue is a, sticks out to me. So you always want to try to produce your songs as best as possible. Um, so cutting breasts out, it just, when you cut a track, it's like literally you just stops and then it comes back in rough. It just doesn't sound good. I believe that. When you lower the breaths, it's better. So, you know, here's the problem is when you double click the voice, uh, this file thing isn't here unless you have something in the preferences selected. So this is where I got caught up for a few months trying to figure out how do I, how do I lower the breaths down. I just cannot figure it out. But if you go to Logic Pro and you go to preferences up top here and you go to general, if you go to advanced, some of these are actually not even going to be here if, if this box isn't checked I'm, that I'm about to show you. But yeah, if you go to advanced and you click on show advanced tools and then some of these pop up after that. Once you click this box, this file icon is going to open up now. Again, how you get in here is when you double click your track. So this is a friend of mine who who's a rapper. Um, and one of the biggest problems that he has is that he takes a lot of breaths. So, uh, for instance, is this the second track? Yeah. So this is the second track, uh, second verse on this track. So, if I were to check on this, you would see right here. A map finder, the road needed work, yeah. call it a rough rider. Dro you hear that breath? And this is how you can do it. You select it, and you can hit this little button here. This is how you hear the breath. <laughs> That's a big breath. And just sound sloppy in songs. I mean, again, there's always going to be those times where you decide to leave them just because it sounds good. But for this, I wouldn't. So I would go to Functions and go to Change Gain. Right here is going to be at zero. But if you just kind of move it down to about 35, 36 like I have it and hit Change, you can notice that it's still pretty loud. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it again. Why I leave it like at 35, 36? Because I don't want to zero it out at 100%. I actually want to hear it a little bit. Um, so that sounds, or this looks a little better there. You know, I, I probably want to do it even a third time. Um, so then I'll change it again, and that sounds a lot better. So if I were to go back over here and play, see how better it sounds now. See how much cleaner that transition was from there to there, just because I lowered that. I mean, it just helps out your song so much better. So for anybody out there that's been looking to lower your breasts or cut your breasts, this is the way to do it. You can even lower this down all the way if you just didn't want to hear it at all. You know, you just, you know, you just select it again and then you just keep going. So again, I put it at thirty something because I like to do it at small portions because I don't want it to go all the way. Um, so yeah, if you want to do it even more, you can. So again, this is for people that really wanted to know how to do this. So uh, get at me with any other questions you have about Logic. I've been using this for quite some time, so I'd uh, be more than happy to help, okay? Again, um, thanks.